Welcome to Two Cents, where I, Xafra Balsa, speak to industry professionals to give us their two cents of how they got to where they are today. Today's guest is Roger Sommer. He is a colorist. He, I consider him as one of the best uh, colorists in Switzerland. He's done about fe 50 feature films, countless amount of commercials. So, welcome, Roger. Hello. Uh, hi. So from all the all the professions you can choose, you became a colorist. Yeah, there's so many jobs you can choose in the world. Why that? Yeah, that happened by accident. A friend of mine was a colorist already. I worked as a polygraph and we made some trash movies and they didn't look good. So uh, it was the only way to to make a good color grading without no money. So I have to do it by myself. So and so, so tell us, what color grading system do you use and why? I use uh, DaVinci Resolve mainly and base lights. These are the two major systems. I would say the base light is the more expensive one and the DaVinci it's the cheap one. So every company has this application in their house. So you can also choose to work with programs like uh, Adobe, or you can work with Apple with in grading. Why do you prefer to rather work in DaVinci and in Baseline? Because DaVinci is the best by far for making special color correcting stuff. It allows you to work fast and precise and on Adobe it's yeah, no, not that much possibilities, you know, to, it needs way more time to work with Adobe, for example. So you, you can still achieve similar results, but it's a, it's a more painful process, you feel like. Yes, yes. Yeah, more painful and way more time. Yeah. Okay. So when you are commissioned to do a color grade, where do you start with a color grade? Explain the process. Yeah, first we talk together with the director and the DOP what they want and uh, in, in which direction it should go. I will set up all the, the parameters, you know, like uh, dimension or frames per second, stuff like that. What kind of material it is, color space, all this stuff. And it have to set up right in the right way, then we can work properly. So I start normally with some key shots, so single key shots, mostly one total shot, one close up, to see the skin tone and uh, you know um, how to if, if it's work, what what we think it's it's gonna work, and uh, yeah, after that we have to to even all the the, the pictures. And then do you work often with LUTs? Yeah, ma mostly I work with LUTs because it makes the work easier. So we will have then more time to for others. But LUTs, it's, a, it's actually a good thing. Yeah. Do you design your own LUTs or do you, do you buy LUTs or how do you start with LUTs? Yeah, both. I, there is some preset LUTs there. I will go from there and make some adjustments by myself. And sometimes I will create lots before the shoot so they can use it also for the shoot, for the, for the monitor. Um, yeah. So during the shoot that they can already see what kind yeah. of look it will be. Yeah. yeah. Especially on big project like series or yeah, or, or movies. Cool. As, as a filmmaker myself, I would consider storytelling is the key to a good film. So how, how would you apply color to storytelling? Very different. Um, it depends what we want to say in this particular scene. Um, and then we try and see if it's work. So warm for, for happy, cold for sad stories. For example, uh, yeah, or making hard pictures for action, or you know, there are so many different ways to to express something with colors. So I've I've seen some of your work, which is also very nicely done in black and white. So what is the 
why would you choose a black and white picture above a color picture, for example? That's actually not my decision. That's the decision of the of other people of uh, of the DOP or the director, and you know I only can try to make the best of it, but I'm not the guy who makes these decisions. And do you prefer to work in color or in black and white, or is it for you the similar? That's similar. I love black and white pictures. But I also like the the color pictures, of course, but uh, you can't compare. You know. Nice. Um, where do you go to find inspiration? Who do you admire? Who do you look up to? Inspiration I will take from anywhere, from cinema, from, you know, YouTube or magazines or every kind of picture. I don't know, or in real life, you look outside and see some kind of color that you like or everywhere, anywhere. That's nice. So you need to keep your eyes open and yeah. look around uh, you. Yeah. Cool. If you're a young person and you would like to get into color grading, could you give us like three steps to success if it is so simple? <laughs> <laughs> uh, practice <laughs> and passion. And yeah, when you can do what you like, then it will work by itself. So, What drives you? What gets you out in the morning, out of bed? What motivates you to today to do another good color grade? Yeah, just good pictures. I'm, I'm curious what picture it will face me in the, during the day. The curiosity, what will happen, which clients, which camera, maybe he have a new camera or maybe a new, completely new idea of express in a picture. Or... Nice. Thank you very much, Roger, for sharing your story with us. Yeah. Welcome. That's it for now. Join us next time on Two Cents, stories from industry professionals. Use it or lose it. You choose.